If you're sick and tired of feeling disappointed, I've got the cure for you. I am talking a 100% guarantee you will never feel disappointed again in your life. Having disappointment is as simple as figuring out where it came from. Disappointment is but the byproduct of your expectations not being met. So you're not gonna like the answer, but if you stop all expectations, you will stop any chances of disappointment happening in your life. Because disappointment happens when, you know, we have an expectation of something happening and then it doesn't happen and then we're disappointed about that outcome. When really, maybe if we didn't have those expectations, the disappointment never could have occurred. We could have been perfectly happy, which is why Buddha says that the root of all suffering is attachment. We become attached to outcomes, and when those outcomes don't happen, we are pissed about it. So I constantly am checking myself. Whenever I feel disappointed or frustrated or any negative emotion, I try to ask myself, what am I attached to right now? And often, a lot of times, we're disappointed about things that you know we could have done better at. We tell somebody a secret, we don't tell them it's a secret. And when they tell someone else, we're pissed about it when really maybe we could have been clearer in our communication. We can really use this rule to improve our relationships as well because a lot of times we have expectations for what people are gonna be like or how we want them to be. The classic changing the person we're with or even with me, uh, my relationship with my dad, when we started our adult relationship, I expected him to be perfect because he had to compensate for all these things that I wasn't happy about. And that put him at such a disadvantage because if he made one little mistake, I blew it way out of proportion because subconsciously I was expecting that he was gonna be perfect and no one can live up to that expectation so definitely in your relationships try to be mindful of the expectations that you have of your partner because while some may be totally reasonable some might not be lower your expectations and you will drastically lower the amount of time that you waste in this lifetime being disappointed for 10 steps to beat stress and feel your best, check out my book, Confessions of an ex hot Mess. I've also got a free ebook and a guided meditation if you click down below. For last week's video blog, click up here, check it out. And while you're at it, click down here and subscribe.